Hey, what's going on? BS backstage tonight, waiting for Earl Dibbles Jr., but until then, we're going to talk to his best friend, Granger Smith. What's it like being his best friend, seriously? Yeah. He said this. You said it's going to work. <laughs> it does work. I'm not best friends with Earl. You like him? I, I, he didn't let, let me talk to him. Why? He just comes in, he comes in his truck, gets out, puts his dip in. Runs on the stage, runs back. I never even get to see him. What's that thing he says? Ye, ya, ha, ya, ye, what? It says ye, ye. Oh, there you go. Ye, ye. Yeah. Now, what does ye, ye mean? Because I heard it means something a little special. <laughs> it does. I, I, I don't know. I was asking you. Tell, if it means something special, then tell him. Tell him. <laughs> it, means, it means whatever, whatever's good and country and crazy. Ye, ye. So what, what what came to mind first, you know, how did even Earl Dimmel Jr. come? I mean, obviously, folks, I was kidding. This is the same guy, believe it or not. They they look a lot alike. But seriously, where did Earl Dimmel Jr. come from? Were you sitting in the back of a tour bus one night and like, man, I got to, you know, tweet some stuff out that might not sound good from Granger. I'll just give Earl Dibble. How did it come together, man? Uh, my brother and I were in uh, Central Texas, where we're from, and, and uh, we, we grabbed some overalls and decided to make a video. Uh -huh. And... Uh, and it represents, you know, some 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 family members and some friends of ours that, that have told these stories over and over. And we went down and shot this video, and it went viral. Do they know that it represents them? Like, have you ever? So you never sat around Thanksgiving dinner and been like, "Listen, Uncle Joe, uh, do you remember that one video we did? Do you really have an Uncle Joe? Because no, we're looking I don't. at your. Okay, I'll just I make don't. it short. Okay, I don't, don't want to get anybody in trouble, but. Awesome, man. Well, we're glad to have you back, Kyle. Good to be back, man. It's good Last fun. time you were here, it was a heck of a show. It, it's it's one of a kind. Like there is no concert that comes through town that's anything like this. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I, good. I, that's I, what I like to it's, hear. It's awesome. You know, it's just it's good. just totally different, and people I don't think know what to expect, but that makes them want to come even more. You know, it, it's a it's a good time. If so. you could leave here and say that you've been here a lot of times and you've never quite seen a show like this, whether that's good or bad, then we're winning for sure. That sounds like a good deal to me. Cool. What's in the future for you, man? The next couple of months, you gonna be still out on the road, or what, what are you planning? Yeah, on? yeah, we're finishing off the East Coast and then heading out in the next few months. And in January, heading out to the West Coast, and mm -hmm. so starting the whole tour over again, right? Out west and coming back east again. And the new single, Backroad Song, on the radio, right? Yeah. yeah. What do you uh, you wrote that one yourself? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about it, right quick. Yeah. So it's our first uh, national release, and it's it's. It's nice to have a natural release that, that's not too deep. It just it's a feel good song about the you know, freedom of the mm -hmm. open road, and uh, and we know that very well. And so it feels good, and it, it's a windows down type song, and we love playing it live. Cool man, we can't wait to hear it live here at County Joe's, and of course some stuff hopefully coming up here soon. It was good talking to you, Granger Smith. Thanks, backstage, we're still waiting for Earl Devil. Yee yee, let's go. You're coming. He's late. <laughs>